Hey everyone, Peter here from goodyreader.com and we're going to review the top five e-reading apps on Windows operating system for phones. We have our five choices here, five, four, three, two, and one. Number five will be Bookvisor and then Muhu or Mohu, it's kind of, um, we're not really sure how to pronounce that. Uh, book, ebook reader, Legimi, and finally Kindle. So we're going to start off with our number five choice, Bookvisor. So you can see that very simplistic layout here. You have the animated page turns forward and back, so you do get those nice animations as they go. Tap in the middle for the menu. You have a slider bar here to navigate quickly through the book. Tap again to make that go away. You also have home, and you have a bunch of icons at the bottom, and if you don't know what each of them are, what you can do is press the three dots there for more and it'll actually tell you so we have home quick settings contents add bookmark and then we have a bunch of text based options fonts and color lock screen settings page, page transitions screen orientation and more so we're just going to go through a couple of these settings we're going to go to quick settings see here you have three different font sizes not many to choose from and you have uh, everything changes doesn't change live it does kind of take a second to go through everything but once it does, you get a little bit of a preview behind this menu. You also have color. You can go sepia or sepia, white, and night mode. You also have brightness. So you can press brightness, medium, light, and screen orientation. We're not going to rotate that because you'll know how it really is when you uh, go landscape. You also have contents. So this will go through each of its... Um, each of its chapters and tell you what page each chapter is on. We also have fonts and colors, so you can change the font size with this slider slider bar, and you can see that the uh, preview beneath kind of shows you what it's going to be. We also have font type. All the font types there is about 12 or so. And if you swipe to the right, you get brightness. Oops. So you can grab that bar. And then you get color for bookmarks, backgrounds, foregrounds, beige bookmark. We can make gold background. So a lot more options here than in that quick settings because you can actually choose from several different choices. You can see here that no other e-reader app we've reviewed can allow you to choose different text colors rather than black and white. So that's kind of cool. You also have margins. So you have justify, margin size. You see that it has larger margins on the side. And back to font. So there's a lot of great options here. And let's just go back. And you can see here that there's my bookshelf. So you can actually sideload books onto here. You don't have to deal with any specific store. So that's a major advantage in this um, book visors department so that's why it gets our number five because it's uh, it's definitely open source so you can put whatever you kinda want on here anytime and you do have a lot of options for changing colors and changing text and changing backgrounds our number four choice is Mohu or Muhu the thing I like about this one is that it's got a really cool default paper you can see here that it looks like a really old book and it's very textured and it's colored well and the outsides are shaded kind of like old parchment paper very cool so what you can do is tapping pretty much anywhere on the screen will move the pages forward so even if you tap on the left it moves the pages forward you'll have to actually swipe back to go backwards you have the bookmark button up above you can't long press doesn't do anything but you can press the dots at the bottom and what this will do is allow you to change the brightness or you can press more and here we have share screen so it takes a screenshot we have search color text typography page flipping and more so we're just going to go through a couple of these we go through color so what we have here is different settings black white kind of a brown and then a pure black night mode and then we also have that really cool parchment paper kind of look to it. And I really like this one, so we'll keep it on here. 
You also have text change. You can see on a side loaded book, which this is, some of these settings don't work. So make sure you keep that in mind. We're going to go to text next. And you see you have a slider bar here. It does change live, so that's always a plus. We'll keep it a little bit bigger for the camera here. You have system font as well, so you can change to five, four different fonts. Georgia, Arial, Comic Sans, and Career New. Go to Georgia. And you can do bold on, bold off, italic on, italic off. You go to typography, you see a bunch of stuff here. So you have spacing, uh, kerning or leading, whatever they call the one where the letters are more spread out. You have justify to the left, or you have center. Use two column layout. Enable paragraph, first line indent. Ignore blank paragraph. A bunch of settings here. Tons of different settings. It's really customizable. So that's why it made our top five for sure. You have page settings too, so you can do margins. You can do uh, top and bottom margins as well. And then all of these revert to defaults if you press the little kind of back curled button. And then more, you get lock screen orientation, enable idle, and show control button. So not a bad reader at all. This is definitely why it made our top five because it's, a, it's, it's definitely got, well, as you can see, we've kind of messed up the settings. But it does have the customization to really do whatever you want, really. If you feel that the, let, uh, the, num the letters sorry, are too close together, you can actually spread each individual letter out. You see here, you can shop through different um, sort of Chinese retailers for books. You can also add things to your device directly from your computer, so you can drag and drop and sideload. It only comes with the manual, which would probably uh, be mostly in Chinese like you see here. So uh, be sure to utilize one of these sources to get books or sideload the books in at your leisure. Next thing we want to look at, number three, which is ebook reader. This one's really cool because it comes with a lot of free books. You can see here that this is the main hub, and it looks really, everything on Windows OS looks really cool and fun, and everything slides to the left and right. And any of these you can just get anytime. So you just click on it, and you'll automatically download it to your device. So we're just going to continue reading because we've already put a couple pages in here. You see previous page, menu, and next page. Text is very small, so we're going to change that. We're going to tap the middle. And you see, usually we never see F's for font. It's usually A for the letter. So we're going to press F+, plus, and this will increase the font size. And this is why this made number three, because this is a very quick... Th this, everything's quick on this. So you can see night mode. We're increasing and decreasing the font. You can press the recycle button here. Usually it sends everything back to um, defaults. You can start a highlight. Everything's super quick on this. You can make a note. Lightning fast. Everything this thing does is lightning fast. Really cool animations too. Full um, pivoted page animations and they're controllable. So you can control the um, you know, start to finish of the whole process. This is the third reading app where you cannot long press, but you do have the highlight button up top to make highlights. And then you can tap the middle and view all your highlights and notes as we've just made them right there. So this is definitely our number three because it is a very responsive reading app. You're never going to have to go through too many steps to customize this e-reading app. And this is why it is definitely on our top five. Number two on our top five reading apps for Windows is Legimi. Now you do have to start an account with these guys. Very simple. It's username and password, and then you're in. So we're going to go to catalog first, and what you see here will be all of the books available for purchase. Now um, it is using a different currency than United States, but you can uh, just click on the basket on anything that is zero and you will automatically be able to download it for free and if you wanted uh, anything for purchase like you wanted some credit you can just go to your account and add all that but we're not about reviewing the app 
specifically here we're reviewing the reading experience so we do have a book that we've purchased from them for zero dollars Robinson Crusoe we're gonna open this up and show you guys what's what's going on here now you can see things aren't really formatted that well page turns are pretty quick there's no long press much like in every single app we've ever um, reviewed so far there's night mode things take a very long time on this on this particular um, app to load and that's definitely not why it made our number two this particular uh, settings we'll show you in a sec here so you can tap the middle you have font change everything kind of blacks out every time you change anything so it's uh, in that sense it isn't the very best reading app but it is readable I mean it makes good use of the screen there's no heavy borders nothing like that I mean you'll get the job done with this particular reading app but why it made our number two is because it has a very good uh, book purchasing ecosystem and you can sideload books onto this and you can utilize SkyDrive so if we go back to catalog here you'll see that there are tons of books available for free tons of free books and they split everything into categories they have a very wide selection of books on here both for purchase and free so in that sense it did make our number two because it does have its own ecosystem and you can download and purchase books from their source directly or you can sideload things so that's kinda why number one of course after reviewing all of these through the office passing it around to all the guys here is Kindle you can't beat Kindle it's refined it works no matter what there's no lagging there's no loading it's just everything works all the time sure you don't get the fancy page animations like you would on a couple of the other ones we've seen but this is a refined e-reading app it, it's on iOS it's on Android it's on your PC it's on everything and the beauty of it why this is our number one is because no matter what all you no matter what device you're on all you have to do is sign into your Amazon account and any book you've ever bought, any book that's stored in your cloud, you can just download right onto that device. So we've downloaded World Set Free, and you can see here we have our slider bar. We have text change. So you can do tight margins, loose margins, uh, line spacing, sorry. And then here's all the margins. You can change text. Everything changes live up there. Sepia, sepia, black, and the brightness bar. You also have add bookmark. Sorry. You can add bookmark. So you can see we bookmarked it at the top and it does save that. And there's a move to archive, recommend, and sync. So it's a very simplistic e reading app, but everything always works on this. And you can see here, we're on our account here, the corporate account. You can search through your archived items on anything that we've ever reviewed and uh, purchased and downloaded. You can probably see some of these if you've watched our previous videos that these are pretty much everything we've ever reviewed and all you would have to do is just click on something and it gets downloaded directly to your device. There it is. You also have the store available here. Couple ads, settings, I mean it's your whole Amazon account built in right here. Kindle is always going to be Kindle no matter what device you're going to use it on, but that's why it's number one, because of that fact. It's just amazing, it's multi-platform, and everything syncs to your account, and you don't have to worry about sideloading, although you can sideload with Mobi files, but you don't have to worry about sideloading because everything you've ever purchased is synchronized in your account. So this has been a review of the top five e-reading apps for Windows. We've gone through... Bookvisor, Mohu or Muhu, ebook reader, Legamy, and Amazon's Kindle, and Kindle has run away with the top. But honestly, from what you've seen, 
each of these bring a different thing to the table. Legamy is a little laggy, but it has a great ecosystem and a large selection of books. Ebook Reader has cool page turn animations. Mohu has very nice uh, uh, backgrounds, and it's really customizable. Bookvisor has its pluses and minuses, and this, these are the five that we recommend. These are the five that we found perform the best. So if you guys want to look at more of our videos, you can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodyreader or you can go to our blog at YouTube, uh, sorry, goodyreader.com slash blog for all the latest news, reviews, interviews, event coverage, and so much more in the world of e-reading, tablet, and digital publishing. And for goodyreader.com, this is Peter and this has been a review of the top five reading apps for Windows.